Today is awesome. I'm Curtis Thompson, and today's leadership quality is all about seeking wisdom. As I was reading my favorite book, The, Travel the Traveler's Gift by Andy Andrews, he talks about, um, in there, the character David is getting, he's seeking wisdom from King Solomon, okay? And King Solomon talks about, they're, they're going back and forth, and King Solomon says, so David, um, are you concerned about the children with whom your daughter plays with? And David's like, of course I am. And and so da and King Solomon says, so why? Why are you concerned? And so David's like, because it's, you know, who she hangs out with, good. If she hangs out with good kids, she is more respectful. She, you know, the qualities that we like come out of her. If she hangs out with kids that, you know, that are, are not as well, you know, do not have good behaviors, then she starts to, you know, we, my, her mother and I have to start, start dealing with that. And so King Solomon asks, he says, so at what age, at what age are we not, you know, are we not affected by others? Is it, is it 18? Is it 21? Is it 21 when we can make up our own mind and not be influenced by others? Or maybe it's 30. Maybe it's 30 years old. And so he, King Solomon goes on to say, of course, we are always and forever influenced by those with whom we associate. If a man keeps company with those who curse and complain, he will soon find curses and complaints flowing like a river from his own mouth. If he spends his days with lazy, those seeking handouts, he will soon find his finances in disarray. Many of our sorrows can be traced to relationships with the wrong people. David, uh, David's like, so, so this is an important step in seeking wisdom, is what you're telling me. And, so, and King Solomon says, it's possibly the most important step. He says, guard your associations carefully. Anytime you tolerate mediocrity in your choice of companions, you become more comfortable with mediocrity in your own life. If a lazy man isn't an irritation to you, it is a sign that you have accepted slothfulness as a way of life. King Solomon goes on to talk about who he associates with. He says, if it is important for a king to be careful in his choice of friends, would it not also be important for you to pay attention to who you associate with? You know, I've heard that saying, uh, you are the, the sum of the five people that you hang out with, that you, that you surround yourself with. You are the same person, you'll be the same person in five years from now or a year from now or 10 years from now, except for the books that you read and the people that you spend your time with. Those are the influences that are going to impact your life. Okay, so I would, I would ask you and encourage you to reflect on who it is that you're spending your time with and decide if how they are influencing you, if they're influencing in you in a positive way or if they are impacting you in a negative way. And so if, they're, if they are negative, you know, impacting you in a negative way, then you know what you've got to do. It's not going to be easy, but it will be worth it to you and to your family. It will be worth it to you and your career. If you are hanging out with those that are making a positive impact in your life, you are ahead of the game. That is awesome. Continue that. Continue seeking wisdom from those that are doing what you are passionate about.